so we're back for round two. I'm slightly tilted. Um, I'm looking at this hand. We, I think we can keep this. We're on the draw, so we'll probably draw another land. And Responder is like really strong. So we have a couple turns to try to draw a second land. If we can draw a forest before turn two, that would be absolutely great. If not, any land will do for this Responder. So I think this is a keep. Swamp, please. Or a screecher, you know, that's fine. Something else I can't play. Oh my. Okay, the tilt is real today. <laughs> uh, last round was really, really, really tough. Okay, I mean, they multi six and they miss the land drop, so that's fine. We're both like in the same boat. Oh no, they got their land. Land please. Oh man. Okay, so now we have to discard. What am I gonna discard? Huh. Probably this creature. Eh, it probably should have been rats actually. Cause if we can draw a swamp, screecher would have been good. Yeah, probably should have been rats. Gremlins. Okay, where's our third land? Come on, land. Come on, land. Okay, so now we're just super dead. All right, well, I thought for one second, like, I'd be able to draw land, but... I was very wrong. Wrong. I was wrong. Yeah, so yeah, the good news is we're probably just going to draft again. <laughs> the drafting is the best part anyway, right? Who's with me? Okay, so I'm super done. Oh, this is pretty much over. I needed to land like a bajillion turns ago. Jesus. Are you serious? Okay. No, that was not going to fly. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, yeah, this is fine. Opponent said, what a great draw. <laughs> it happens to us all. Oh my gosh, we're missing swamps again? I'm still going to keep this. Because now we actually have plays. He was, he, opponent said they were risking as well. <sighs> I'm trying to stay positive. Stay positive. It's just a game. <laughs> Sometimes I have to have that little chat with myself. It's like, okay, everything's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, the sec just wasn't like super spectacular anyway. Anywho. Fortuitous find. I forgot that was still in there. Ah, oh, they think we're green white. Ha ha ha. You're gonna be so surprised when I actually play a swamp at some point. If we can get one, that would be ideal. Okay. Cool. Moving forward. A swamp would be amazing. Artisan. Okay, that like pretty much wrecks my life. Gross. Gross. Okay. 
Oh. Hmm. All right, so I guess I just send the servos here. Because the Cobra would trade for a servo, which is like fine. And then what? Gearsmith doesn't want to come out yet. We want to play. Yeah, that's fine. We want to play. I guess just the Dunn, so that's probably okay. I wonder if this is like redundant with the Gearsmith. It feels a little bit redundant right this second, but it's probably not. Gross. Gross. So it actually like like a well a swamp is probably fine. I'd like more value out of this, but having removal to get rid of that doorbuster is fine. Because then we can attack with everybody. That's okay. I mean, this I want to be as fast as possible with this deck because our late game is, like, non-existent. Like, we have Fumigate. Like, that's pretty much it. Okay. I'm wondering if I should be playing Goggles. That's a question I'm asking myself today. Ooh. Well, that's gross. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess we're racing. The rep and ornamental courage, though. Do you have it? No. Oh, you do. Okay. Bye, Cobra. Um. I mean, this is not the best use of Gearsmith, but since we have the find in hand, I'm just going to get back the Cobra and play it. That's fine. Everything's fine. Hey. Cool. Like, that's not glamorous for a gearsmith. Not at all. That's like the opposite of glamorous, getting back a cobra. But just being able to play all two creatures in a turn is pretty strong. So I'll take it. And then, let's see... Another doorbuster. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it doesn't change my plans. I'm attacking. If they want to trade off their doorbuster or their thopter, that's fine because we have the fortuitous. So I'm actually hoping that they kill off the gearsmith and the cobra. Okay, that's not happening. Okay. Alright, so... I don't particularly want to trade the Dund here, but it's probably fine to trade the Dund for the Thorbuster. Harness Lightning, sure. So then I think they go block, block. Yeah. Oh, they're not going to block the gearsmith? Well, gross. All right, I'm going to hold the find. Getting back at Dund with the find doesn't feel right. Yep. It's probably okay because it has death touch. But I think we're just in race mode here. Which is awkward. <laughs> cause, uh, 
They seem like they should be faster. I don't know what an artisan is doing in a red-green deck. That doesn't feel right to me, but what else? Yep, that's fine. And two doorbusters, I feel like, is excessive because they're just so easy to kill. Uh, but we're just getting land, so that's not good. Yeah, okay, so I think we have the Fortuitous find back the done this turn, because then we have to have two things, because they're going to door bust one of the things. This is not great, but it is what it is. So then we have the chump with the servo. Ugh. Gross. Because they make this not be able to block. We're definitely taking three in the air. And we have the chump to live. So if they have removal, we're dead. That's a thing to be aware of. Dead to a removal. But what else? Whatever, whatevs. I mean, the fact that they're in the tank is probably a good sign. Okay. Okay. Yup. I knew that was coming. Hey, doorbuster. I know what's up. We jumpies. We be jumping. All right, we're at four. Gremlins. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. Okay, so they are at four. I just have to make sure I can block some stuff. So if we attacked with everybody, they have to block two things. Is that right? Nah, they could just block... They would block here. No, they have to block too. And then we have two things for the doorbuster. Okay, so they have to block. I think we attack out here. Because they go block, block. The gremlins can't attack. We have to take the hit from the thopter. But we're going to have two blockers for the doorbuster, so that's probably fine. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Yep. Both hoping we don't have combat tricks. Uh, wait. Do that when they declare attacks. So they declare tax, they say that the servo can't block, we make another servo to block the doorbuster. Everything is cool. Um, I mean they have some strong stuff in their deck, but I just I think Artisan is sticking out like a sore thumb, and I think two doorbusters is too many. It's just so expensive. Four mana for a... I mean, and I get that the ability is nice, but it has a two-power butt. Like, that's going to die to a lot of stuff. Okay. We got there. Anywho. I think this deck is fine against them. Like, I don't really want to bring the Hawk in because we have a lot of um, flyers. Yeah. We cool. Mm. Okay. No two drop, but we can probably find one. We have like a bajillion two drops. I'm. I have faith. I have faith. Okay. 16 lands. Too many lands. No more lands, please. Two drop. Ugh. 
another land. Blah. Blah. And then poor Harold's. Oh, well that's better. Yes, please. That'll do. Um, and I actually think I'm going to block with it, which, like, is not that insane because we have a Gearsmith. So if they have a trick, let's let them play it out. But they won't attack unless they have a trick. So, you know what? Maybe I don't. Because next turn we can go Herald, put a counter on this, get in for three, gain three life. Oh. Okay. Nope. Next turn we're going to Gearsmith. Sure. Everything's cool. Nobody panic. Got a gear smith. But I like that my decision was made for me there. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh. No, it's still gear smith. Getting this back is pretty strong. Pretty, pretty strong. Um. Yeah, the next turn we can do... I still think it's Macedon. It's probably just Macedon, right? Right. So I could have played out Daredevil there, but that doesn't feel good. Oh, Spontaneous Artist. Oh, okay. Sure. Now, like, I would trade if they're going to give that haste. Because this already did its job. Yeah. I'll trade that. Because this is, like, powerful. And we also have a, a fortuitous find. So at that end of in the yard, it's, like, probably okay. Okay. Five mana. Let's just play the Macedon. The next turn we can do Screecher and Responder. Hi, girl. There's a kitty. Okay. I think we're in decent shape here. Ugh, Artisan's like just annoying. Because now they put a counter on it and then their trumpeter gets bigger. Yucky. Okay. I can see that. I guess if you're playing a trumpeter, Artisan's okay. It sort of makes sense. Maybe. Oh, a build to last. Huh. No, we just attack. If something crazy goes down, we have the build to last. Like if they have the plus two, plus two. Okay, no blocks, it's fine. Okay, yeah, so I'm not blocking if they attack. Because we can just take a hit from that, no problem. Because we'll catch up with the responder. Because next turn, if we get a land, we can do Daredevil and Heralds. So I can throw the counter on the responder. That would be nice. <laughs> that would just be nice. Let's do that. Ah, Renegade. Okay. No problem. No problem. So now I guess they're deciding if they want to attack with the 3-3. I would. I don't want to trade anything. They could have got that in for sure. Um. Okay, so we have six mana. So I think what I want to do is... Attack with everybody, because we have the built to last. Let's go. And then I think I want to do Daredevil and Servo Exhibition. Hmm, I wonder if they have the trick. Oh yeah, this has reach. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's not funny. Hmm. They must have the plus two plus two. Or else this block doesn't make any sense. Okay. I want to keep my flyer alive though. This is fine. Everything's fine. 
Ugh, except for it's not really. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, keeping the flyers alive was right. And then that got the trick out of their hand. That's fine. Everything's okay. We lost some Macedon, but whatever. Like, now we have a good fortuitous find if we can get it. Uh, and the stupid artisans out of the way. Okay, that's sort of an issue, but what else? Oh, Renegade, right? Oh, keeping my Screecher alive was dumb. There was really no reason to do that. Ugh, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I'm making so many mistakes today. It's really stupid. Uh... So this becomes a 5-3. And then if... Oh, they can still double block it. I think it's just responder. Let's see if we can get in with us. They can block, but if they block this, it's fine. We get it back because I want to play the Serbo exhibition. I tapped like a maniac. Okay. Ugh, why did I tap white mana? Oh my gosh, what a hot mess. Yes. Yes. Okay. Like, I need to have a planes up for a belt to last in case they try to kill something. That's an issue. Infiltrator, sure. So, are they attacking with Tiger? Yeah. That's fine. I'm just taking the hit. Cool. That means the Renegade isn't, doesn't have that much fuel. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We can gain some stuff with the Responder. We're cool. Everything's cool. I'm going in with everybody, because if they block a servo, then we can belt to last it and kill something good, so that's fine. This looks like Inspired Charge. I hope they're scared. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Okay, but here's the thing. They can tap this and kill a servo in response to a build to last. So I think we actually have to use it here. I didn't think that through. The servo shouldn't have went. But now their energy's gone. So that, I mean, that's not the worst. Everything's fine. I'm playing this really loose, though. Like, real loose. But now their energy's gone, so now the tiger is, like, more manageable. Like, I think that was actually fine. But that was some loose play if I ever did see some. Their server shouldn't have been going at all. I was like, oh, we have the build to last. But no, then if we put it on a servo, then, yeah. All right, well, we made it, but that was uh, some really bad play, just FYI. Um, anyway, so let's go to the next match, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll try to make less mistakes. <laughs> this day has just been wrought with mistakes. It happens, it does, and, you know, I'm definitely willing to put that out there, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm definitely not perfect, that's for sure. Um, I mean, I've done pretty well with this format, like, I've 3 0 this... 20 times in this league, so that's pretty good. It could be better. It could be better, but... Yeah, I made the finals a bunch of times, but I'm still... I'm making a lot of mistakes. Um, I've only been playing Magic for two years now, and I feel like I'm nowhere near being a master, but... You know. One day. Hopefully. I will be able to play the perfect game. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.